This is a review for the base shaper from the eBay seller Princess Cut Handbags. I got the size um, Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 and I got it in clear. First impression of this is that it looks a lot exactly like a clear license plate placeholder or something. And I'm going to put this into my Alexander Wang Rock, Rocky Mini, I guess it's a mini, and um, didn't really have the sizes specifically for this bag, so I'm going, I really didn't like how it sagged, so I figured the best thing to do, I think I read online, was to get this shaper for the Sweetie 30. Um, this Rocky Mini, um, the Speedy 30 plate, or if you want to call it, a, I don't know, a bag shaper, seems to fit it pretty well. I don't think the bigger size would be appropriate. It would probably ride up on the sides. I don't really know how this bag compares with other, well, specifically with the Speedy. I looked it up online all the time, and I never could find it. So first impression is that this clear thing looks a little bit smaller width-wise than the um, bag itself. It goes in pretty easily. And you can definitely, I can feel in here, I don't know if you can see. No, you really can't see. But I can feel in here about maybe an inch of space on each side. There's really no sag on the studs, which I think is really cool. So let me take it out and show you what it looks like without the shaper. Good. Okay, anyway. So here's the bag without the shaper. You can see it looks a little longer. This is, a, by the way, a really hard plastic, so yeah, I mean, I guess if you tried really hard, you could break it, but here I am doing this. It's not snapping. It's not brittle. Which is so, all in all, for a bag like the Rocky, I showed before and after pictures where I put some stuff in here to see what, if any, difference it makes. Anyway, for a bag like the Rocky, it does make a, a small difference, probably only noticeable if you're wearing it. But this bag is still kind of new. It's still pretty firm. It's not all so smushy yet. 